but this is the Zawaza Plains. Looks like there's no sign of Dorfa anywhere. I can't even smell them. What would they even smell like? It's not like they wear cologne or anything. Let's keep moving forward. I've been waiting for this. Come get some. This is friggin' annoying. New data. Let's do this. My turn. Cocky pianist from before. So we meet again. I'm glad. I've been praying for your safety since we last met. I too have been praying that we would meet you again someday. Me too! Me too! What the heck? He's acting way too cool. I don't think I like this guy very much. Right? Okay, Sherman, let's throw down! Trying to pick a fight with the dashing Lord Sherman? You better not! Stay back, Fang! Shut up! You two stay quiet! This guy's a fencer, too! That means he's here for the Fury, right? So it's perfectly normal for us to fight! Who cares? Lord Sherman can have it for all I care! That Fury would be much safer with him anyway! Isn't that right, Lord Sherman? Thank you. I will never forget this act of kindness. I would prefer not to stain my sword with blood, if at all possible. There's no way I'm letting that happen! I'll never hand it over to you! That fury is mine! I agree with Fang. I'd rather hand the fury over to a pig than let the show-off take it! Fencers. I've been wondering when the enemies of the Dorfer Corporation would show up. Who the hell are you? I'm your guide to hell. Apollonius is waiting for you at the back. He and I shall be your opponents. We have to fight two of the four heavenly czars? Galdo, you traitor! I'll teach you what happens to those who betray the Dorfer Corporation. I have no stomach for threats. Do you remember me? It's been some time since that party you accompanied through, correct? Uh, Sherman! Why are you here? My, my, there's an extra person here. And he's a skilled fencer to boot. What are you going to do? Hmm. It's nothing to be worried about. Listen up, you fools! 
On second thought, Apollonius should be more than capable of defeating you all. He'll fight you all at once. You will rue the day you decided to rebel against the might of Dorfa. <laughs> Apollonius' power is beyond compare. He'll crush you all with a single blow. <clears throat> now then, right this way. Now, Apollonius, show these fools what happens to those who defy Dorfa. So, you've arrived, enemies of Dorfa. Your presence here soothes my soul. So, you're Apollonia, huh? I hear you're stronger than Zank. I am Apollonius of the four heavenly czars. Do not compare me to scum like Zank. Now, fight me and fill my soul with joy. Come forth, Seguro! This is freaking annoying! New data! Let's go! Found you! Let's do this! Executing shooting slash! Strong. Bang! Do it, Apollonius! Finish him off! What do you think you're doing? Who asked you to rescue me? Please forgive me. I do not wish to see those ladies mourn your death. Fight next. Don't be stupid. When something like this happens, we must report it to the company. Let's get out of here. Not yet. Our battle isn't finished just yet. Deliver your final blow and claim my life. through and defeated Apollonius. This fury belongs to you. A uh, duh Why do you always act like you're better than me? And why'd you save me? I never asked for your help. I could have won all by myself, and don't you forget it. I don't owe you anything. I apologize for any offense I caused you. Please, forgive me. Fine, just don't do it again. Why are you acting like a jerk? If Lord Sherman wasn't here, you'd be dead already. Jeez, you're so clueless! Actually, I have a proposal for you all. What, you want to fight? No. 
with our actions, we are now wanted criminals in the eyes of Dorfa. From this point on, we'll be targeted by Dorfa's assassins as well as rival fencers. There is strength in numbers. If it pleases you, would you allow me to join your party? Are you kidding me? Lord Sherman wants to join our group! I agree as well. With Lord Sherman at our side, we have nothing to fear. Quit screwing around! Who'd team up with this clown? That's right! Who'd want to work with this show-off? Idiots! This is an amazing opportunity! Why are you turning it down? Now it's fine. This guy is really talented. That means you can finally slack off, Fang. I guess I've got no choice. But in exchange, I'm the boss, and you gotta listen to whatever I say. Those are my conditions. Agreed. I look forward to working with you. Apollonius was defeated? Yes, the cowardly enemy ganged up on him, and Apollonius, despite his power, suffered tragic defeat. You fool! It doesn't matter what dishonorable tactics the enemy uses. Losing is unforgivable. This country is attempting to usher in a new world. In order to accomplish that, losing is not an option. That's... Well, I do agree with you, but... Still, I cannot believe that two of the four Heavenly Czars have been defeated. What kind of adversary is this Fencer? I don't care who he is. He must be crushed! <laughs> I'm sure the next Heavenly Czar will... No. I'll go. I would love to meet this Fencer. Naturally, I plan to separate his head from his shoulders the moment we meet. Understood. I have faith that you will eliminate this pest once and for all. Yes, sir. Leave it to me. Then, if you'll please excuse me. Hmm. I bet you're thinking, I'm so glad Bernard is going instead of me. Shut up! But I wonder if it's really okay to let Director Bernard handle this. If he loses, you might get blamed again. Uh, that's... Let's just grab a drink on the way back and forget about all this drama. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, hello? Hi, sweetie. Daddy's gonna be home a little late today, so tell Mommy that... Huh? Mommy said not to come home? <laughs> I was just joking about what I said before. Daddy's gonna be home in a flash, okay? Be a good girl and wait for me! <laughs> Sorry, but we need to go straight home. Jeez, typical whipped husband. How pathetic. Man, these hot springs are just what my worn-out body needs to feel alive again. Yes, but are you sure it's alright for me to join you? I feel sorry for Galdo and the others. Don't worry about it. Lola only comped us four tickets and you won yours fair and square in that game of rock, paper, scissors. Is it just me, or does your skin seem really pale? Yes. When I was younger, I used to get sick fairly often. You're lucky to be in such good health. Hey, don't judge me, moron. Please excuse me. I couldn't help feeling a little jealous. So, anyway, what do you think of all this? If we collect all the Furies and revive the Goddess, do you think she'll really grant any wish we make? Yes, that's what I believe. We're fighting for the sake of that goal. But you're fighting for world peace, right? Of course. I'm willing to die to see that dream of mine fulfilled. <sighs> that sounds sketchy to me. You gotta focus on your own needs first. Worry about your next meal instead of world peace. You don't need to act so standoffish, Fang. I can tell you're actually a kind-hearted person. Stop, you're embarrassing me. When I was a child, my village... It was destroyed by the blood descendants of the Vile God. I don't really understand what this Vile God is. Who the hell is he? What? You honestly don't know about the Vile God? Nope. 
How surprising. And yet, you still collect the Furies without that knowledge. You truly are a strange person. Just tell me already. The Vile God is the embodiment of darkness. Long ago, he lost his power and fell into a deep sleep after battling the Goddess. If the Goddess is revived, this world will know eternal peace. But if the Vile God is revived, this world will end. The blood descendants of the Vile God butchered my people like cattle. My sister lived in fear of the Vile God up until the day she died. I'm the last surviving member of my family and village. Reviving the Goddess and sealing away the Vile God once and for all is my way of exacting vengeance. Gotcha. I never pegged you for someone who lived such a hard life. How relaxing. It's like all my battle fatigue is drifting away. What are you looking at? I've never seen a fairy naked before. Your skin is surprisingly beautiful. It doesn't hold a candle to my own, though. What are you talking about? My skin is shinier and smoother than yours. Plus, my boobs are way bigger, too. Surely you just. Mine are clearly bigger. Uh, are you blind? Mm -hmm. It is pointless to you to stick out your chest and shove your breasts in my face. And keep your hands to yourself. But you touched me first. Let us talk. After all, we are at a hot spring. Getting worked up over such trivial pursuits will only tire us out again. Let us discuss other matters, Aaron. So tell me, how is your memory progressing? I heard that you remembered fighting alongside the goddess long ago. Yeah, but I haven't remembered anything new since then. What about you? What are you planning to do once we collect all the Furies? Didn't I tell you already? I am going to wish for world peace. Oh, please. You can tell me what you're really going to wish for. I won't tell anyone, no matter how shallow it is. I know a selfish girl like you doesn't care about the world at all. Your real wish is probably something lame, right? That's not true at all. What do you know about me anyway? You, you don't have to get so angry. My body is... scream just now? Yes, let's go. Wait a sec. The women's baths are that way. What, what about our clothes? There's no time for that. Let's go. <laughs> Tiara! Death spiders. They capture their prey while it's still alive and bring it back to their nest. There's a river here. Hey, are you alright? Get a hold of yourself, hey! <sighs> these things are stubborn as hell! Even without Eren, there's no way I'll lose to these things! Fang! Tiara! Are you alright, Tiara? Only because you saved me. Thank you so much. Huh? That's not like you at all. You're the master and I'm the servant, right? A servant obviously rescues their master. You are the very first person to shed their own blood to save me. Well, I couldn't help myself. You're kind of like my friend, you know? To go so far to save someone like me. It's fine already. Don't be so down on yourself. Personally, I prefer your usual attitude. Fang? What's up? Please promise me something. Promise? No matter what happens. Promise me that you'll never fall in love with me. What the heck does that mean? I will never fall in love with you either. Are you messing with me right now? 
No, I'm being serious. I beg of you. Please promise me. I don't understand what you're saying. Did you hit your head or something? You don't understand, Thing. Inside my body, I... Thing! Tiara! You're both safe. Yeah, just barely. Come on, let's go, Tiara. Man, I'm stuffed! Oh, it's been a while since I've eaten this much. A while? You eat too much all the time. You should follow Lord Sherman's example every now and then. I'm a light eater by nature. That's because you have a refined nature, Lord Sherman. What do you mean, refined? He's a human just like me. He takes a dump after he eats like everyone else. Your Lord Sherman? No, I've never done that. See? You're a friggin' liar! Now, now, enough arguing about this subject. Come, let's be on our way. Awesome, Tiara. Thanks for the grub. Huh? You should pay for your own meals. You can't depend on me forever. Huh? I already know that. Why are you acting like such a big shot? Who would take nasty money from a nasty person like you? In fact, I'm not gonna let you pay for my food again! And don't you forget it! Very well. I shall hold you to that. Excuse me. Please separate our bills. Yes, of course. I'll start with this young fellow here. That'll be 9,800 gold. All right. Got that. Is something the matter? What? Did you lose your wallet or something? <laughs> Seriously? Dead serious. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to pay the bill? Is everything okay, sir? <laughs> it's it's nothing. <laughs> um, actually, hey, Tiara. I need to ask you for a favor. No way. My money is nasty, remember? You're being so petty right now. I guess I have no choice. I'm sorry, Sherman, but could you... Damn it! He ran off! That was awfully fast of him. Hey, you. You're acting real suspicious. Are you trying to dine and dash? Does have a criminal record. That was just a misunderstanding. You're so damn annoying. Oh, so you're a repeat offender. I knew it. All right, pal. Let's take this outside. Huh? Are you kidding me? You can't overlook one or two meals? I never should have eaten your food in the first place. That is unacceptable. <laughs> What is that? What is this weird creature? Is it a monster? No, that can't be. Who I am is irrelevant. I observed you this whole time, my boy. You did not eat nearly one or two meals. You ate ten. There is no doubt that you are at fault in this situation. Apologize at once. If you apologize, I will cover your tab. I'm sorry. I see. You are an honest lad. Let me get a better look at you. Yes, yes. I like the cut of your jib. Ah, you be young again. <laughs> Pippin insists that you accept his money. Thanks, weirdo. As a token of my thanks, I think I should tell you that you have a sword stabbed into your head. The young need not worry about the details. In my younger days, I used to live rather recklessly. There was a time long ago when I had ten swords stabbed into my body. But I didn't mind at all, for I was quite strong. Now that I think about it, there was another time when I fought twenty or so monsters all at once. Pippin, they're not here anymore. second there, I had no idea what was going to happen. Please be more careful from now on, Fang. I must say, 
This was a consequence of Fang's irresponsible behavior. Seriously, Fang, grow up! I remember this, you guys. Excuse me, my boy. Ah, it's the weird creature again. Does that wallet over there belong to you, by chance? Oh, you're right! Damn, wallet, don't scare me like that. Jeez, you're so careless. I can't believe you dropped it outside the restaurant. I concur. You mustn't worry your friends, my boy. You should take their advice to heart and try to live a morally upstanding life as a complete human being. My life is none of your business. And I don't want to hear advice on being a better human from, uh... What are you? Fang was just a petty food thief before he met me. I guess old habits are hard to break. Shut up! That's none of his business either. What a surprise. It's unacceptable for a boy as hedonistic as you to call himself a fencer. All right, it's decided. I shall accompany you and properly instruct you on ethics and morality. Oh my, doesn't that sound like a wonderful idea, Fang? Why don't you learn proper etiquette from him as well? That's not a bad idea. With his help, I'm sure Fang will become a much better person than he currently is. I'm standing right here, you ass. Man, make your fairy shut up already. He thinks he's better than me, and he won't stop lecturing me. I'm sorry if this seems rude, but Pippin is not my fairy. That's right. I'm a fencer. Yes, and I am his fairy. You may address me as Soji. Huh? Huh? That's quite unexpected. Just from looking at them, you'd think it was the other way around. <laughs> A human's character is more important than their appearance. You should all learn to be more discerning of others. Seriously, dude, you're not human. I shall train your soul so you no longer judge others by their outward appearance. Stay dedicated, everyone! Whatever. Do what you want.